You know what's great about IP-based design? It's super easy. You just pick out the blocks you need, plug them together, and voila! You have a working... Well, wait. It looks like this block didn't actually plug with that block. And oh, this one over here is like seven revisions old. Great. Okay, I'll just reconnect this one over here and... Huh. I apparently got these connections backwards and this output is connected to another output. That can't be good. Hang on. Okay, you know what's tough about IP-based design? <laughs> yeah, we all do. <laughs> Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Today my guest is Tim Van Evenhoven, and we're going to look at the awesome new Xilinx IP Integrator. It helps you easily plug together IP blocks the correct way, makes sure your blocks are all up to date, and lets you know right away if you try to hook up anything wrong. But... Why am I explaining this? Let's bring in Tim. Also, before we get started, remember to click that link. There you can download a free white paper and check out a video that further expands on this topic. Welcome, Tim. Thanks so much for joining me today. Hey, Amelia. Thanks for inviting me. So I think most people know that Vivado is the latest design tool suite from Xilinx for 7 Series and Zinc all programmable devices. But how does Vivado IP Integrator fit in? Yes, so Xilinx launched Vivado in 2012 as the next generation of ICE design suite. Ah, okay. So then in 2013, Xilinx added the IP integrator feature as the last large component of the IP and system-centric design flow. Okay. So IP integrator is how IP can quickly be connected together within Vivado. And this includes hard and soft processors, peripherals, connectivity IP, logic, DSP IP. Okay. So, yeah, IP Integrator is built directly into Vivado using the Vivado IP catalog and the underlying data models to provide a whole new level of integration. So, IP Integrator isn't a separate tool or an afterthought. It's an integral part of Vivado. Ah, okay. I think I understand. So, how does this compare with Xilinx Platform Studio in ISE? So, this takes XPS to the next level and is much more tightly integrated in the Vivado IDE. Okay. So, you can create new IP, you can add it to the Vivado IP catalog using the IP Packager Wizard, Vivado High Level Synthesis, or System Generator for DSP. Okay. IP Integrator allows you to think at the interface level, not the signal level. Mm. So, for example, an AXI4 master can be connected to an AXI4 slave, making a single connection in IP Integrator diagram. When Vivado writes out the RTL for this connection, it might require connecting a dozen individual signals, but that's all automated and removes the risk of making a mistake when connecting them when writing HDL. Fantastic. Now, we had a schematic FPGA design before designers moved to VHDL and Verilog. Isn't this a step back? Actually, this takes graphical design to a whole new level. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, you can connect complete interfaces together with a single connection in IP Integrator, and it's actually running design rule checks for you even before you make the connection. Cool. So, in this slide, I'm in the middle of making a connection from the Zinc system to an AXI interconnect IP. And as I start to make my connection from the master interface to the Zinc system, a little green check mark appears as the slave interface on the AXI interconnect is showing me that this is a valid connection. Cool, okay. So first of all, it won't even let me make an invalid connection. And then once the connection is made, Vivado takes care of the error-prone task of connecting the multiple signals in the interface in the HDL for me. Fantastic. Okay, so I could see how this could be useful for interfaces, but what happens if the interfaces are compatible, but the IP have perimeters that don't match? Tim, won't that cause an error? It doesn't have to cause an error because this is where parameter propagation helps you. Okay. So the IP and IP integrator is aware of the blocks around them, and the blocks can automatically configure themselves using that information. Ah, all right. So in this example, I have three IP blocks. The middle block is set to the default port width of 32 bits, but let's say you wanted to configure the first block to 64 bits. Yeah. So Vivado would automatically pass the value of IP2 and set the width correctly for you. Okay. So this is extremely powerful in a scenario with multiple blocks in a design. If you want to change a parameter, you can do it once and then let the value propagate automatically. Okay, so I see this isn't just schematic design. 
<laughs> no. And Vivado even takes it to the next level with what's called designer assistance. Okay. So or after adding an IP to your design, Vivado can make recommendations or automatically make connections for you. So Vivado is even aware of the board you're targeting and can make connections for you that way. Cool. So in this screenshot, I just added a Microblaze soft processor IP to my design, and a banner appears that lets me know that designer assistance is available. So I provide a few parameters to Vivado, click OK, and Vivado automatically adds a debug module, local memory, reset logic, and AXI interconnect to my design and makes all the connections. Cool, okay. So it really is taking design to the next level of abstraction. Yeah, so I've seen this before where there are productivity gains, but then something goes wrong and all the gains are lost in debug. Is that the case here? Since Vivado IP Integrator is built directly into Vivado and uses the Vivado data model, the debug is easier than we've ever seen before. Excellent. So, for example, in a diagram, you can right-click on a net and mark it for debug. So a little green bug appears in your diagram, and then when Vivado generates HDL for that diagram, it'll automatically instantiate the necessary Vivado debug logic, so you can view the generated HDL of that interface in an RTL simulator. Okay. So you can also do co-debug with a processor. It really is powerful. That really does sound powerful. Where can I learn more about Vivado IP Integrator? I'd recommend starting out by watching some of the videos that are available on Xilinx.com and on YouTube. They go into more detail on building a full Zinc or Microblaze system and also show a lot more about the DRCs in detail. Awesome. So one last question for you, Tim. Have you seen people embrace the productivity gains in this type of design flow? So the adoption rates have really been impressive. In just the last year, the number of IP integrator users has grown to the thousands. So I think customers are excited as I am about the productivity gains you can achieve with Vivado IP integrator now. Fantastic. Well, I think that's all I have time for. Thanks so much for meeting me today, Tim. My pleasure. Thank you. Also, before we go, don't forget to click that link. There you can download a free white paper and check out a video that further expands on this topic. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton. For more Chalk Talks, check out the EE Journal channel on YouTube or the on-demand section on eejournal.com.